campus of Washington State University, where tonight, this is the only show in town. We are at the Beasley Coliseum, and one of the better crowds they've had up here for a basketball game in a long time, because they give their team a real chance to beat the fourth-ranked Arizona Wildcats. So let's take a look at the lineup. All right, the opening lineups for tonight's game, then. They'll begin, Arizona will, with Benedict Mathurin. Mathurin, then with Dale and Terry, Kerr Kreja, Azulis Tubelis, and Christian Coloco. Near travel, but a good job. We get rid of it that time by Kreja. Down low in the game. Kreja giving a nice and great pass and a rejection, but that's cool, Tim. It's going to happen all night uh, for, for Washington State. They got to D it up a little bit better. This is Bamba. Bamba getting a start tonight. Oh, it's a starter, and that time free and go into the basket. Francisco, longtime assistant, was at St. Mary's for many, many years, but Kyle really has done a beautiful job here. A lot of turnover and a lob and a finish by Guy. First for three. Front rim, this. Terry with the rebound. Mathurin for three. Now I want to tell you that transition was quick. It's Arizona State. In fact, he didn't miss a shot. That's right. The whole the, the bench for Arizona, I mean for Arizona won that game. Nice deal here. Should be an easy one. All the way to the basket. Roberts for the finish. In the NBA. And coaching. What, what a success story. He hasn't had too many failures. No, no, he had that nut, as a off, matter of fact. Off balance shot, but a good job by Rodman to run it down in the lane. Flowers. For Washington State, a transfer from South Alabama. He's not only scored, he rebounds, he does a lot of things with the ball. He's been really, really vital to their success. And that's that. Game misses a follow. And finally, it's down in the hands of Cabellas, and here come the Wildcats. Cruz just skip pass. Larson, nice pass, no look down low to bonus the finish. You know, Farberry, 0 for 5 from 3. Can't win this game if you're the Cougars, if you can't shoot it from the outside. They've been bagel. That's Rodman in the basket off a very nice look. And here's one the other way. Coming out of there with the ball, a lob for Matherin. The pass that time from Dale and Terry. From deep too often, they can. But uh, they're one of the great two-point shooting teams. Another great pass and another huge finish. That time... I'm not sure what he got. He got called for an offensive foul. I did not see it there. Meanwhile, at the other end, Flowers has an answer. Rainbow won't go. Rebound to Roberts. From the corner, Larson for three. Kyer leaves it back for Kaza. Kyer for Kreza. Meantime, two and a half minutes without a score for the hometown Cougars. Another try this time by Kreza. He's got two of those. So this is crazy. He is the quarterback of this team. Floater in the lane. Larson hit the backboard twice and went in. But then Virginia, you know, Tony Bennett just went in there and beat him, and they've lost the game, even though they've yeah, got great personnel. Well, that breaks a long dry spell, and that was not an easy shot. They switch well. They do everything well defensively. Bomba off the window. Got it. Three, take away the three. He got and didn't get a block down low. Abagidi, the floater, yes, and one. Finally, Abagidi comes down with it. So now let's see if the Cougars can back up field goals. They missed that one, but the putback by Abagidi. Yeah, how long in the second half? After, a, sc after a scoreless first half. Blocks some shots and makes some scores. And it brought the crowd into the game. What Arizona had done in the first half to Bellis. That's better than him dunk it, but by the way, he can make them. Yes, he can. Abogini just straightens up, shoots, and scores for three. Floater by Crazy won't go. Roberts, he can make that. And does get 
some luck. That's seven on a shot clock. Flowers back left. Trey! <laughs> How do you like this guy, Flowers? From deep. Okay, if the Wildcats keep their poise, good high screen roll. Couldn't get the roll, but a beautiful finish. Yeah, I think it was Bala who got it. He against Arizona State and came back and won came roll roll handily back. in the second half. So they're used to a little bit of a run. Roberts a finger roll. But you know, another a turnover. Huh? There's Bamba one on one. Bamba to the basket, protect with the body, couldn't get it to go. And here come the Cats. Cats have numbers five on two. And Matherin finishes it for three. No. And remember in that tournament they beat three number one seeds to win to win That's the right. national championship. Larson back the other way. And by the way, they finished fourth place in the Pac-10. I think you remember the, that year. I do. I think the highlight of the whole tournament for me was when they messed up Luke's hair. <laughs> That's right. Misses. All of a sudden, shot's yeah. not going down for the Cougs, and they are another fantastic great. pass. So you know, Mathurin really makes it happen. I mean, not you might have to question the shot selection right at the moment for the Cougars. And that one goes down from Bala. Bala did it once, gonna do it again. Why not as right? Yes. Do I get a multiple choice? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you know everything. That's no way to basket. If you're Arizona now, looks like a matchup. Had to take that shot. Well, and of course shot. he knocks it down. Barry, I want to tell you, that was a tough shot. That was one second left on a shot clock. In the meantime, it's 54 39. Yes, it is. In a heartbeat. Cougs have cut this to four points. Gale front. Come over. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're, they're, here's the zone again. Wow. And there's Matherin again. Uh, he had, he's just been magnificent tonight. Yeah. Matherin again, giving a nice pass to Kyer. Kyer's in the corner, wide open look. Quickness, athleticism, defensive intensity. This is Kyer. Just blows by everybody. Now it's plus 14. Yeah, good luck here. You're in the open court. Yeah, I mean, this is an easy one. And, and a great job to just protect, go to the other side of the basket to make that shot. You went see a tournament, you know, back in 1980 and uh, took him again in 1983. In 80, he had the great Don Collins. And you remember Don Collins was the most. And Stuart House was a tremendous player. This place was rocking at that time. Adam went down hard, but he might have been fouled. Here's Williams. Yes, sir. Dennis Rodman, but uh, I'm sure he's right now in the shadow very much of his sister, who just got named to the women's national soccer team. Pretty impressive. Yeah. So, you know, he's he been in a lot of different ways. Like a little bit. He didn't flop. It was close, yeah. but he didn't. Yeah. Close. Let, let, the, let the official make the call. Fall, flop, they both start with an F. But is, is Mohammed Gay? Is he? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, he is not severely hurt because they have a tough stretch ahead. Do the Cougars, and they need him. The Wolf with the rebound to put back. You know, way back in 08 was the last time the Cougars were in the NCAA tournament. You know, and Coloco, pure. Great recruiting trips, by the way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> got a big budget. You gotta have a big budget. Bet you do. And, and even Washington State also, speaking of international players. I'm telling you, they're going to be tough to beat. They are going to be tough. Oh, you bet. They're going to be tough. I think they're going to be tough to beat from here on through the Pac-12 tournament and into the NCAA tournament. It's going to take a, a tremendous effort to really uh, defeat this Arizona team. And that is the horn. And the final score is 72-60 to 60 again. And in all candor, was not as close as the score would seem to indicate. No, 